able to prepare for today's game. Well, I thought it is going to be Sneed leading the charge. Kasama sila Anthony, Salvador, Casio, and David. Magagatapan si Nabagyo, Tenorio, Thos, at si Gapist Espinas. Kasama si Jason Forte. Coach Bo Perasol still looking for that first win. Ito naman si Coach Luigi Trillo. Nakaisa na pero gusto pang humirit dito sa Governor's Cup. Laban ng Sapula. Sapote coming to you live from the Araneta Coliseum. You know, sure, that seat of Coach Luigi feeling, um, feeling much, much better today after uh, being able to get his first victory. So it is going to be Sneed and the boss, Sunny Tosh, jumping it up dito sa center court. Uh, and the Red Shirts of Alaska will have first crack at the basket. Ganyan siya agad yung bola. Doon sa kanilang import. Gano'n ka importante sa Alaska na magkaroon ng strong start to try and take the fight out of power rate right here from the get-go. More, more uh, Maguiz, to be able to ride the momentum of getting that victory. I, I think that victory, very emotional victory, not only for uh, Coach Luigi, but also for the players themselves. So that is J.B. Gasho who draws first blood. Ito yung pinag-uusapan ni Miko at ni Aaron dun sa active center. J.B. Gasho needs to up his scoring para magkaroon ng pag-asa ang power aid. And he's got to get more easy passes just like that one on transition before the defense is able to set up. Tenorio looking to bounce it over to Thos. He had to scramble for it. Salvador yung tatao dito kay Davos. Tenorio na naman. Hindi maipagpag si J.B. Gasho. Tenorio against the shot clock. Misses on that one, and the league leader in rebounds for local Salvador with his first. David over to Snead. Nakita si John Dunn down the gut of the defense. Good ball movement right there, starting from Gary David to Snead and then to John Dunn Salvador. 4 0 na sa ating talaan. Power hit pa lang ang nakakabutas. Para sa inyong PBA Friday. Baguio stopping on a dime. They swing the ball over to Forte. Bumps into Anthony, but Forte finds a way. Tough shot there for Chase and Forte, but even if it was a tough shot, able to have the uh, upper body strength to be able to finish. David looking for Sneed. Slides his Sneed. They get it down low once again. At itong si Salvador, nagiging favorite recipient ni Sneed. Yeah, that's two assists para kay Omar Sneed. After that pick and roll, he has made two good decisions. Nalala natin nakikita. May sinasabing veterano ito si Omar Sneed. Casio picks it up. It's a foot race with Baguio. Casio all the way. Niluwa lang ng ring. Good effort on the part of Cyrus Baguio. He was responsible for that miss of uh, J.V. Casio. Tenorio over to Forte, in traffic. Nakita pa si Espinas. Gabby, that's the deficit to two. And huge four-point swing right there. You have a layup on one end, good effort on the part of Cyrus, and then numbers the other way to get two points. Anthony, over to Casio. Sneed, tignan natin, hindi pa siya nag attempt dito. Pumukol bigla ng tres. Omar misses. And on the rebound play, Merong foul. Looks like it will go against Espinas. And right there in that power forward position. You have two guys that are undersized, but then, pag nakikita natin ang mga numero nila, when it comes to rebounding, uh, very applaudable yung mga numero nila. Basha to Sneed. Drops it off once again. Salvador has six points. Same thing. Pick and roll after that, Sneed. Slipping early, and then after he slips, na hanap siya ng pasa, and then he makes the right decision after he gets the basketball. John Dan Salvador, uh, only in his third game for Power Eight, and natin na trade para kay Doug Kramer sa Barako Bull, and he's making the most of the minutes he's getting here. Sneed with a steal, gets it over to David, and the scoring machine gets a finger roll. And right now, Alaska's gonna call a timeout because their transition defense is still on vacation. Too many fast break opportunities being given up para sa power rate. 10 4 is the score, power rate by 6. Nanonood po rin po kayo ng PBA dito po sa active. At inamin ni Omar Sneed na medyo mabigat nga ang pressure sa kanya na tumulong sa unang panala ng power rate. He said that he's ready to do what it takes for that, including getting physical. And he said he's heard what the game is like dito sa Pilipinas. At handa na raw siyang kontrolin ang kanyang temper para lang uh, ma, uh, 
because he doesn't want it to affect his team, telling me that he will let it out na lang elsewhere. Despite these challenges, however, naniniwala si Sneed that a win can fix everything, including a team's trust in their import. At yun ang focus niya tonight. Magu? Yun naman talaga eh. No? Pag nanalo, wala nang magre-reklamo. As Sonny Thos gets two points for Alaska, nice execution off a timeout. And they wanted to get those two points, and they wanted to be able to move that ball and get uh, at least Sonny Thos a touch. Salvador tracks it down. Napakasipag ni John Dunn para dito sa Powery Tigers. Whitechurch will have another crack at the basket. Kasho on the move, gets it over to John Dunn. Kicks it over, Anthony for three. Di umubra, Espinas para sa board. Apat na minuto lumilipas sa ating opening quarter. Baguio off a crossover. Back-to-back -back hits for the Aces. Cyrus Baggio right there. You know when he's hitting that outside shot, really opens up more for his game. Especially when he's able to do that off that pick and roll. Actually didn't use it. Tapos tumira na siya kagad. Pero sa papansin natin para dito sa Alaska, yung 8 puntos na yan. Ha? Si L.A. Tenorio na lang ang hindi nakakais. Kortig do 2 puntos yung apat na ibang kakampi niya. Very spread out ang kanilang contribution sa Sneed. Ba, may teardrop din pala yun. Di lang umubra. The ball will go to Alaska. Baguio with David extending his defense, gets it over to Tenorio. Back to Baguio, moving well without the leather. Espinas in traffic, tatlo kumuyog. Natrabiling si Gabi doon. Hey Gabi, the few times that he's gotten the ball in this game, seemingly he's having a bit of a problem because of the size of Sneed. Dahil ang lapad ni Sneed, ang hirap niyang ikutan eh. Pinahanapan nila na Miko at Ero ng kamukha to si Sneed. Eh nung picture niya kanina na ka-cornrose, may pagka Carmelo Anthony yung dating eh. No? Sneed, big bump coming from Thos. David for three, punches it through. Zero points for Omar Sneed, no problem because he's got five assists in this game. Sa labing tatlong puntos, limang assists nanggaling doon kay Omar Sneed. Espinas attacking Sneed once again. This time around, nakakuha ng buwang. And this time he did so much better because the moment he got the ball, this is dito nakagad siya, naa-attack siya. Ginamito ng bilis as Gasho misses on the teardrop. Espinas with yet another board. Forte humingi, nando sa poste. Pasa ni Tenorio, goes outside. Sinasabi niya, natapik daw. Sabi ni Rep, mas malakas pa rin yung iyong puwersa. Pang-apat na turnover na yan para dito sa Alaska Aces. Power Age still immaculate sa department na yun. Salvador contra Espinas. Hand off to David. Espinas switching on him. Gary in trouble. They get it to Sneed. Nakita si JV. 18. Footer is good. Basketball, basketball just becomes so much easier when you have good ball movement. Just like what happened there para sa Power Raid. 15-10. Lima ang abante ng Power Raid Tigers. Lumipas din. Halfway point ng ating opening quarter. Baguio. Pull-up jumper. Fouled by Gary D and Cyrus will troop to the line for two. Baguio takes care of the first as we take a look at our clear man defensive play. At ang starting dito, ayun, si Omar Sneed, isang klarong klarong depensang hatid sa inyo ng clear man zero dandra. Four points in the game para kay Baguio. Tatlo ang abante ng mga Tigre. Five and a half minutes remaining in this opening frame. David could not get across two defenders or between. Baguio sa kabilang dulo. Inabot ng foul. I'm surprised that guy David tried to split that double team. They've been going to that play all along. He's able to go to the, uh, to the far side of that pick and roll and then Easily passing it to uh, Omar Sneed, but this time around he changed it and it led to a turnover. Napansin natin, nagkumpul din sila ni Omar Sneed at Sean Anthony. Bago yung unang free throw, during the first free throw ni Baguio, parang may pinikikwentuan sila as Sneed is... Si John Dunn yung pinalitan. Neto ni Raba Alusain.
Baguio is now a perfect four for four from the free throw line. Anim na puntos ang total niya. And that brings Alaska to within one. Anthony. Hinahanap nila si Raba sa poste, but they go to Sneed. Kasho, no space to work with. Back over to Sneed. And Omar is fouled. Fouled. Atutungo siya sa ating free throw line. Yeah, that, that's the that's the well that they've gone to. They'll pick and roll with Omar Sneed. Dahil malapat siya, sigurado sa pool na sa pool yung gumagamit ng uh, pick and roll. And after that, he's able to open up very well and make himself available. And Magu, a bit questionable though. I mean, it's only been about seven minutes, but he's made a lot of good decisions offensively. But still, haven't seen na na kung pagdating sa scoring o yung offense, kung paano siya kumuha ng puntos. That it doesn't seem like the guy has a lot of lift. Doesn't seem also that he's a he's a big threat from the outside. So still have a question mark. Kung saan siya ang, ang strength nito si Omar Sneed pagdating sa puntos. Kahit naman nung si Makans pa import na itong power rate, it was still Gary David leading the way in scoring. Pero hindi nga uubray. Kakailanganin mo rin yan from your import, eh, no? Yes, of course. Uh, your import has to be it, 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 the best player on the court, be it on scoring or, or just overall. David, catch and shoot three. Gary David buries it. He's got eight. But for power rate, it's very difficult to happen because of the, the kind of year that Gary David is having. Gary David, 16 consecutive games dating back to the finals of the Philippine Cup. E naka-score ng 20 mahigit puntos. Espinas off the turnaround. No ghost need for the board. It's need controlling the pace. Kasha for three. At para sa power rate, you cannot fault them. They've been playing this way since the Philippine Cup. And these are these are shots that, uh, like you said, they're accustomed to. These are shots that they took uh, during the first conference, in which they made it all the way to the finals. De La Cruz back in action, second game after a long layoff. Pasopion. Tony De La Cruz uh, wide open there because Gary David tried to go for the steal. Usually you go for the steal, you don't make it that close to the basket, you leave a guy with an open look. Kasho to Anthony. Running start para kay Sean. Nahuli ni Eman, pero pati Brasso kasama. Magkakaroon ng two-man substitution yung magkabilang kapunan during these Anthony free throws. Martinez and Alliera on their way in. Kasama si Kablay at si Thos para naman sa Alaska. As we remind everybody, Namasu Subaybaya na ang PBA sa Action TV International. Sa Middle East po, via Arbitral Time Network. Sa Europe naman, via OSN TV tomorrow. At sa Guam, via MCV Broadband. Sabihan na ninyo ang inyong mga kamag-anak na abangan ang maaksyon na labanan ng PBA, pati na rin ang UFL sa Action TV International. 21-16, three and a half remaining in this first quarter. Powerade by five. Kaplay. Looking for Eman. Ginuha gambala siya doon. Anthony Anthony, that's a personal foul on Sean. So many positions on the floor right now para dito sa Alaska that they can take advantage of their size. Uh, Jason Ford, Tegnina, but he's being replaced. But still, with Mac Barakael, will be will be guarded by a smaller man, as well as uh, si Sam Eman. Boss against two, Gawin Muntatlo. The boss is fouled. Yeah, no, it's, it's going to be Barakael playing the two. Tony Dela Cruz, a usual three spot. Yeah, no? Paulo Raba Hosseini, we... we Nowadays, when you play basketball, you really look at angles, and the angle in which Rabat took at that post, he eh, niya lahat ng baseline para dito kay Sunny. That's why it was such an easy turn and shoot para kay Sunny Toss. The boss goes, uh, completes both free throws, at babasa tatlo ang abante ng power rate. Timeout muna para kay Coach Bo Perazzo. Gumawa na ng moves na coach na pinalta na yung import namin. Oh. Pumunta rito, nagpais pa lang. <laughs> Nag-relax siya. Masyadong yung focus niya sa game, wala. Eh. Maga, ewan ko ba? Itong game na to talagang ano kami kailangan makuha namin at makuha namin yung panalo namin. 
Eh, di ba ikaw, JF, galing ka rin sa relax. <laughs> Ako galing sa relax, ikaw galing sa spa. <laughs> Pero ito si Omar Sneed, bagong import niya. Yeah, the Bowery Tigers hasn't scored much. He's only got one point. Pero ito yung binabanggit mo, Jason. Well, here, is, that's the first assist of the game. And then, same thing all over again. Pick and roll. And after that, getting the ball underneath. Tapos may depensa pa. Getting Gary David open. Looking up front. You know, you don't have to be the best scorer of your team. You just have to be one of the more effective ones if you want to be an effective import. David. Misses on that attempt from the left. 21-18, Alaska. Pagkakataon na naman makadigit dito sa Power 8 Tigers. Barakel, inaanap si Eman sa poste. Pero ang ganda ng prontahing defense ang binigay ni Anthony. They go to the boss on the other side. And Alaska really looking for that open match. And that's 0-2 in that matchup of Sunny Thos and Raba al Husseini. That's a simple backdoor. Raba's gonna, be have, gonna have to be able to move his feet. So, so far in the last couple of minutes, nilalamo ng bumbo ni Thos yung depensa. Neto ni Raba Aluseni. Here's Gablay working against James Martinez. They go to Eman. Nako, butas ang kamay ni Sam Eman as we send it over to Jessica with this report. Magood depends ang pinag-usapan ng Alaska sa nakaraang timeout. Coach Luigi Trillo instructed them to rotate more quickly habang si Tony De La Cruz naman sinabihan ng team nila na respect the man you're guarding. Magood? Yun ang uh, napakalaking bagay doon. Itong si Tony De La Cruz, definitely one of the voices of reason sa team na yan. Really helping out his head coach. And it's been about defense, ano? Nung uh, unang uh, laro neto ni Alaska Aces, they gave up 107 points to Rainer Shine. The second game, nung nanalo na, 84 lang ang kanilang pinamigay, Jason. Hey, you usually say, when it comes to defense, there is no off day. And if you're able to play good defense night in and night out, you'll have a chance to win. Marakel, one-hander doesn't work. Alusaini, nakita nila doon sa kabilang dulo si Gary D. Well covered by Thos this time around. Alusaini, hiningi yung bola. Outside jumper. Short. Air ball. Short. So, Raba did have a good game in the, their last time out. Struggled in their very first one. That's not the way he wants to start defensively. Not really sharp so far. At tapos yung tira niya na yun, eh, hindi dumulas. Uh, mari, mari, dumulas. Toss against Alusaini, round number three. Tumulong. Itong si Will Antonio, and that causes the turnover. Kaso, third over din ang binawi nila sa kabilang dulo. Well, that's what Araba reads right now. Yun, pamunas. <laughs> back to back ang nangyari. Not only came up short, and then, on the other hand, threw the ball away. Alaska throws it away. Likewise, Gary David makes him pay. That's the thing with this Power 8 team. With their offense, you don't even have to go all the way down. Three-point line pa lang, they're already a threat. 24-20. Ang depensa ng Alaska definitely masusubukan sa maghapon at magdamag na ito. Coming upon half a minute remaining in the first quarter. Kablay contra Aliera. He's got a smaller James Martinez on him. Pero no space being given to him. Pasa niya, naagaw tuloy ni David. Gary D against Kablay, na dribble sa paan ni Brandon. Ball should remain with power Brandon Kablay, pinalitan na dito ni L.A. Tenorio. And power can opt for the last shot of this opening quarter. Antonio has 12 seconds to work with. Talabas muna nila kay James Martinez yung bola. David with Tony all over him. Pulang nila, sumuot sa jersey ni Gary D. To Martinez for a three. Doesn't work. Parakel for the board. And that'll do it for the first 12 minutes of action. 24-20 ang nasa ating talaan. The Powerade Tigers will sit on a four-point lead courtesy of the 11-point outburst of Gary David. Three opora from the three-point line. Bawal mapag-iwanan dito sa Governor's Cup at si Gary David. Gustong siguraduhin na makaisa na sila. Finally, dito sa kanilang ikatlong laro. Ito si Baguio at si David ang naglalaban dito. Hindi natin ano mangyayari pagdating ng ikalawang yugto. Gary David when another El Granada-esque performance in the qu opening quarter. 11 puntos na kagad ang kanyang naibubuhos para dito sa Powerade Tigers. The e-scoring machine 
Itong si Gary David, all season long, dating back to the Philippine Cup, labin anim na sunod-sunod na bente ang kanyang ibinuos. And here is the last two here in the Governor's Cup. Well, for Gary David, it's just been a magical year, season, para sa kanya. And for more on Gary David, let's send it over to Jessica. Maguin namin ni Gary sa akin na may frustration siyang nararamdaman because he's been playing so well and yet his team has not been winning. However, he maintains na same attitude pa rin siya at uh, dahil nga naman life goes on. At gusto lang niya makuha ang panalo at least for this game. Ang pinagdadasan na lang niya is at matuloy ang kanyang lakas ng katawan and his, uh, the sharpness of mind. Of mind. Magu? Thank you, Jessica. Buti na lang ikaw, Jay. Hindi mo naging problema yun, ha? Never, never. Na-scorer ka pero hindi kayo numulusot. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Una-una kasi, hindi na ako nakakaabot ng 20 points eh. <laughs> Uy, meron kong one quarter na 17, di ba? Eh, yun lang yun. <laughs> one quarter lang yun. Buti sana kung apat na beses kong ginawa sa... <laughs> Andin din nun. <laughs> Taas sana nun. Pero ito, Powerade, una pang nakabutas dito sa second quarter. 26-20, they extend their lead to 6 as we take a look at some of the numbers from quarter number 1. And for Powerade, the reason why they're able to have such a good score so far, a good 26 on the board is that they're getting some easy points. Una una, they're forcing turnovers. Add another one right there. Not consummated, and yes, it will be a turnover. Add another one right there. They're forcing turnovers. They're getting on fast breaks. It is the sticky defense of Powerade causing all kinds of trouble para dito sa Alaska Aces. Antonio against Fortes. Jason Forte, pinalik na ni Coach Luigi dito. As they go to Alusaini. Van Landingham also on the floor. 10 to shoot. You know, that offense of power in, in this array. You don't have JV Casho, you don't have Gary David, and you don't have the import. Now the guys on the floor, para dito sa power A, they must be able to call the play and to be able to set up their play. Pinapansin nyo si RJ Hazul, nandiyan dyan na sa Alaska. Kapapalit lang yan dito kay Eric Salamat. Trading with Air 21. As Alusaini comes up with his second air ball, pero this time around, nasalba ni Van Landingham. Naputokan ang 24. Itong mga tigre. And not a lot of uh, good attempts there para sa power raid, but they've got, they had multiple possessions. You look at the squad on the floor para sa power raid, maybe not a lot of guys that are uh, big time scorers, but the effort that they're giving out there is what, the, what is, uh, they're hoping to try to allow them to match up with Alaska. Forte on the move against two, no good. Denorio back to Forte for the flush. Pero no count yata. So sideline inbound lang para dito sa Alaska Aces. Pinakabagong ala si RJ Hazul. Parang mainit-init pa yung uniforme niya, no? Pumunta sila kay Jason Forte. Antonio keeping an eye on Forte. Drops it off. The boss off the glass for two. Yeah. Sunny Toss already with eight points. And if, if not all, uh, six out of those eight coming from the defense of Raba. Raba's got to do a better job of uh, playing man-to-man -man or uh, honest defense against Sunny. Alusaini, gustong bumawi sa kabilang dulo. No space. They go to the corner. Nakakita sa ilat na habitawan lang. James Martinez, yung pasa na yun. Really a, a tough situation when you look at Power Raid because there is no one guy that can create a basket right now. And uh, they're even worse. Ngayon, nangyari, di pa siya nakakuha ng attempt na nagkakaroon sila ng turnover. Kaya yeah, naman si JB Cashot, si Gary David, waiting na sa ating scorer's table as Tenorio locates para ka Ella. They look for Sunny Thos in traffic at na turnover ng Alaska. Ang bola sa pagkakataong yun. Right there, Coach Boss senses it. Brings back guys that can actually light up the scoreboard. As we take a look at this big block coming from Sunny Thos, this Sapal Shot Lock is brought to you by Sapal Elastic Sealant and Waterproofer. Ang bagong hari ng tapal. May gitsyam na minuto na titira sa ating second quarter. Kasyo. Looking for his import, Sneed at the post. Namasa na naman kay Van Landingham. Sneed has been making all the right plays, Jason. Six assists for Omar Sneed. And uh, again, he gets to the positions on the floor where he becomes a threat. And then after that, gagawa siya ng tamang decision para makapag-pasa. 
Azul with 10 to work with, gets it over to Forte. Very quiet game for, for Jason Forte so far. Pull up jumper, Forte, no good. David on the run. Jumps it over, and Alessani completes it. Powerade is playing beautiful basketball here at the Big Dome. Same problem again para kay Coach Luigi Trillo, giving up too many. Makikibarangay ng PBA superstars. Malay nyo, barangay nyo na ang susunod na pupuntan ng inyong idols dito sa Barangay Active. June 2. Ba, bukas yan ha. Barangay Veterans Village sa Quezon City. June 3 naman. Barangay Ramon Magsaysay dito rin sa QC. Veterans Village at Magsaysay. Abangan nyo na po ang mga paborito nyo. PBA Superstars 30-22. Powerade now with their biggest lead of this game. De La Cruz turnaround jumper from the baseline. Doesn't work. David kinalawit pa. Tumatakbo na naman ang mga tigre. Gary D. Tocasio wide open for a three. JV punches and throws. And cross matchups have led to that open shot of JV because JV was forced to guard Tony De La Cruz but Tony De La Cruz did not locate JV that's why he was wide open on Sinang Abante ng Power 8 touch pass Forte to De La Cruz Lista mo na four points in the game para dito kay TDLC steal by Baguio it's a foot race with David Cyrus with a beautiful finger roll. Good steal on the part of Cyrus Baguio. Itong uh, si Omar Steed. Some, that's the thing. Pag bagong, bagong dating ka palang, hindi mo pakilala yung mga players. You don't know who's actually very good in the passing lanes. Now he realizes, Cyrus Baguio, hindi mo pwedeng bigyan ng malam yung pasa pag nandun siya. Sa ilang ensayo, mga kakampi palang niya nakilala niya. Eh. Itong mga kalaban, di pa kabisado. Let's see what he does this time. Kalaban niya si Forte. Sneed, palipat-lipat parang kamay yung kanyang dribble. Turn around, off the glass, no good. Tenorio looks up court. Forte, power move, gets the basket. Mega sama pang foul. Not a good foul on the part of JV right there. You have to be committed. Either you give up the foul and not give up a three-point play, or you stay away. This time, it, parang half-big yung uh, nangyari doon para dito kay JV Casho, which leads the three-point play opportunity para kay Forte. Sean Anthony, binalik para dito kay Van Landingham. Sayang walang uh, masyadong ginawa pa si Van Landingham. Kailangan mapasabi natin kay Miko yung Van Landingham at the half. Bakit? Eh, mahirapan. May anesthesia siya, di ba? Mayroon <laughs> anesthesia? Oh. Bakit? Ano nangyari? Eh, ano yun? Yung baby teeth niya, tinanggal yata. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> o nagsabi niya na Ikaw tinwit mo kanina, nabasa ko lang <laughs> Yung milk tip <laughs> Gary Davi, uy nadulas Si El Granada Traveling na itawag dito Kay David, so Alaska on a roll As of late, baba na sa apat Yung hinahabol nila With just under 7 minutes bago tayo bumalik sa active center Pagyo for 3 Cyrus Baguio now has 11 points. In a good response on the part of the Alaska Aces. They were actually down by 11 after that timeout, but a 10 to 0 run, they're back in this game. At bago tayo bumalik sa action, silipin muna naman natin ang isang naman clear man defensive play. At ang bida dito, si Cyrus Baguio. Isang klarong-klarong depensa. Ang hatid ng clear man, zero dandruff. And this was part of that 10 to nothing run by the Aces. Down by 11. Ngayon, isa na lang ang ginahabol nila. Well, that's what, you know, to use a timeout in a proper, in a proper period. And you just hope that your players are able to execute after that. Dalil lang yan, ilan lang mga gamit mo na timeout and usually you want to use that to eat stop momentums of the opposing team. Sneed underneath. Oh, Aba, pinakita tayo ng footwork with that pirouette. Good go, good turn. And uh, that's probably the quickest we've seen him at the post so far in this game. Eh, pagka nuliluk sina, no? Sa lapad niyang yun, di ko akalain ganun ka ganta yung kilos na gagawin sa ilalim. Forte, BB it. Ayun naman, all muscle ang ginamit doon. Jason Forte, more aggressive here in the second quarter. He's scoring five of his seven points and going to the basket. Alam mo, yung buong Alaska Aces, uh, takot na takot pala dyan kay Jason Forte, ang kwento ni De La Cruz atin. Nag-team building sila, nag-swimming daw. Pag-ubad daw ng t-shirt ni Forte, wala na raw nakapag-ubad sa kanila. Nahiya daw sila. <laughs> Bato-bato daw talaga yung katawan nito. 
35-34, Powerade still hanging on to this one-point lead. Hindi pa nakakatikim ng lamang dito ang Alaska. And Gary David wants to keep it that way. 13 points for David. First basket of the second quarter para kay El Granada. Si Baguio, katapat niya dito, may 11 na. Tenorio still scoreless. Babalik sila kay Forte, who's got 7 points on his own. Baguio in traffic. Kumapit yung papektus. Sneed locates Casio. JV pushes it. Talabas muna niya kay Gary D. Powerade will try and get into their set. Casio to Sneed. Nakita eh to Sneed. Nakita etong si Anthony. Nako, natrabiling etong si Anthony. Sometimes it's that very first move. It's not what yung kailangan mong kunin. Para kay Sean Anthony, nag-hesitate siya. Could have gone straight all the way, but then he just lost momentum and ended up, ended up traveling. 37-34, Alaska down by three points. Bonbon Custodio on the floor for the first time. Nauna na si RJ Azul sa rotation kaysa kay Bonbon. Eh? You know, maybe uh, Coach Luigi also trying to see what RJ could bring. Forte, nadulas pa, but regains his balance. Bintis ga lang yung kanyang tira. David stepping on the gas. Big na lang po Moreno. Gary D is taking over. You know, you talk about the outside shot of Gary David from three-point range and his layup. But the toughest thing about his game is that there is a mid-range game. And when you have your mid-range game, you have the complete package. 39-34. Big response coming from Powerade. So both coaches should be happy every time they have time out. Sila, Jason, they will respond to their batans in the head. Yes, and uh, you know, para sa power rate, what is it, 4-0 run? 6-2-2 oh, to two run, rather. Is it, uh, merong konting confusion kung free throw ba yun? O sideline, ito sideline yun pa. Ibibigay dito sa Alaska. Arakael down low to Forte. Jason against John Dunn. Spinning baseline. Loses his balance, pero nakagawa pa rin ang paraan. Diretso pa sa free throw line for a bonus shot. And ito si Jason Forte. You can see that the last three possessions, gustong-gusto niya makakuha ng photos. Kanina na-foul siya. Ngayon naman, John Dunn Salvador bumabantay. Able to use his quickness to get his two points. Tinanggap lang yung contact from John Dunn Salvador. And he completes that three-point play, and Forte is finally in double figures with just over four minutes remaining before the halftime break. Sneed looking to attack Forte all the way to the hole. The big play. Pekala mo wala siyang quickness, and all of a sudden able to put it in another gear. Sometimes it's not about how fast you can get, but how you're able to change speed. Pero yun, yung quickness na naman ang ginamit doon is need to slap that leather away. David, boot, tatanga lang inabot kay Bonbon Custodio. Casio, his pass thwarted. And they will go to Gary D for a three. Bang! You just can't leave him. <laughs> That's Gary David. You know, nasu palpal. Akala mo, ah, wala na yung kumpiyansa niya dahil nasu palpal siya. Pero... Bag na libre, you know, his percentages just jumps out of the roof. This is the puntos na para dito kay El Granada. Sneed with another near steal. As Sonny Thos comes in para kay Espinas, hindi naman naman yung broken play na nahanap pa nila, nakagawa pa ng paraan para sa tres. Actually, Magu coming out of a turnover because of J.B. Casio and after that, getting points again. So, Alaska getting into trouble once again when they turn the ball over. Thos, seven to work with. Spins away from the double team. Forte with a big rebound. Hindi nga lang makuha yung putback, pero meron namang foul. Power Raid right now playing very oh, undersized. You have Sonny Toss on one end para sa Alaska and Jason Forte. Now, the question is, will Alaska be able to take advantage of their size? Right there in that possession, they were able to using post-up from Sonny and then the offensive rebound mula kay Jason. Let's 
Less than three minutes remaining bago tayo bumalik sa active center. Forte completes both. That brings them to within five. David on the move. Nice wraparound pass. Kaso, nandun si Custodio. Nabasa niya. Gusto nilang gawin doon. Short dress para dito kay Sneed. Palitang kagad niya. Ito si Anthony. Too big of a difference when it comes to size. That's why Sneed's coming back. Kasho did discard it with nine to work with. JV to Sneed. Sidestep move is good. Contra, contra pelo rin yung kanya mga kilos. Ano? Oh, hindi, hindi, he's not a guy that na masasabi mo na super athletic, na tatalo ng mataas. He has that uh, feathery touch around the basket that na, gumagamit ng uh, change of pace. Forte up fakes that three. Hop, step, and a layup. Nilawa ng ring. Forte looking to clean it up. Wala pa rin. Uh, and those are shots that Jason Forte would like to have right back. Dahil tutok na tutok na yun. Wala nang bumabantay. Pero niluluwa lang ng ring. The story of the first half has been Omar Sneed. Aba, one point lang with six assists uh, nagsimula siya sa larong ito tapos dinagdagan niya ng anit na sunod na puntos He's got seven and six already Gasho slip shot doesn't work two minute warning of the first half well, what an effort Gary David what an effort does get there does get called for a jump ball see that replay again because if you actually look at this jumps down quickly dives and Calling timeout right there. He's the only guy that actually has possession. Miss, well, referees may have missed that one because hindi naman hawakan ni Jason Forte. Yung bewang ni Forte yung nasa bola eh. Because he was on top. Yung pa, di pa. Pwede naman pala pa. And Forte wins out on that tap. Less than two minutes remaining. Sa first half ng first game ng inyong PBA Friday, dito lang sa active. Mag-umarjan po, kasama natin si Jason Webb with Jessica Mendoza patrolling the sidelines. This is a matchup that Alaska can really take advantage of. Forte. Nadula si Steed. Pull-up jumper. Nako, back irons it. Kasha over to David. Bilis din ang depensa ng Alaska this time around. So, Parade will look to set it up. Ray Guevara now on the floor para dito sa mga tigre. They get it over to David. Salvador out to Guevara from the outside and he knocks it through. Good ball movement right there. Your primary scorer is Gary David. He gets a touch. He is doubled and then you eventually find that one guy that is eventually left open by that rotation. Back to a nine point lead para dito sa power eight. Custodio, ang ganda ng buelo, gets the basket. Mega sama bang foul. No, when you're on the weak side playing defense, you cannot be caught watching your man. You have to be able to look both ways. Bonbon bon, Custodio able to turn the corner, but no one is looking at the ball. Can libre libre si Bonbon. Bon. Custodio completes that three point play. His first three points of the game. Mabasa ani mang kailangan habuli ng mga alas with less than a minute remaining in this first half. Casio is fouled by Tenorio. Si LA Tenorio hindi pa gumagawa dito. No? Zero points across his name so far. And only one assist as Raba Aluseni checks back in para dito kay Salvador. Kasha to Sneed. Gets it over to Guevara. Perimeter jumper. Nakakatalawa na. And another good assist for the part of Omar Sneed. Did not force the ball to Raba Al-Husseini. Went for the skip pass, which was the open shot. Para kay Ray Guevara. Itong assist na rin para dito kay Sneed to go along with his seven points. Custodio with Guevara all over him. Ten to work with. Custodio. Bounces it down low. Oh, Gaelic with a sorry miss on that reverse. Coach Luigi digging deeper into his bench, Jason. All right now, he's, he's hoping for more from his bench. Gaelic had an opportunity. And itong Alaska, masabi natin, may halong malas rin sa araw na to. Ang dami nilang layup. Eh, marami dito, eh, niluluwa rin. 
The 30-second timeout requested by Powerade as we remind everybody na mapapanood na din ang PBA sa pinakabagong channel sa cable or sa pay TV. Yan po ang Hyper. Please check with your local cable operators for availability. As we also thank our friends, itong ating mga kapatid sa DZSR 918 AM. Diyan po ang play-by-play, blow-by-blow action ng inyong PBA. Benji Santiago and blood pressure Barry Pasqua. Humahalik-halik pa. Oh, at saka nakaano pa, yung uh, salamin na uh, pang... Uh, Magkagiwa. Pang NBA. <laughs> NBA. Alam ko gumagaya kay Mark Kagiwa yung salamin ni Barry Pasqua. Eh. Sumusunod sa uso. Eh. Special thanks also to our partners, 90.7 Love Radio, 101.1 Yes FM, and 96.3 Easy Rock. At syempre, yan nga po sa DZSR Sports Radio, 918 AM. Oh, bad pass. Guevara in trouble. Loses it to Custodio. Five seconds remaining in the second quarter. Now na si Porte. Hindi nakita ni Custodio. And Guevara will salvage that possession para dito sa mga Tigre. At the end of the first 24 minutes of action, ang Powerade nakaupo sa walong puntos na abante, 50-42. Well, for Powerade. Pero din ang Powerade, yung bola na yun. Take a look, see what the Red Shirts of Alaska does sa pagbubukas ng ating third quarter. Tony De La Cruz, L.A. Tenorio, Cyrus Baguio, Jason Forte, and Sonny Thos will be playing defense against John Dan Salvador, Gary David, Omar Sneed, Sean Anthony, and J.V. Casho. Salvador on the handoff, papunta kay Anthony. They go to Sneed. David, down the gutter, the defense is fouled. Tony De La Cruz not happy with himself because he knows that Gary David actually had no place to go, but he bailed him out by actually going for that steal. Two shots para dito kay El Granada. He's got 18. He can keep his 20-point streak alive, but he's two shots. Trigles yung una. Nawarning ang pa si Coach Luigi for resenting to that last foul call. At si El Granada is now just two games away from tying Dynamite Danny Siegel sa 19 straight games na may 20 or more points. This is it, na ang kanya, Jason. I don't know what all the big deal is. I had more than 20 straight games na hindi ako naka-20 points. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya, dapat nire-record din yun, eh, no? Hindi nga ako naka-20 points. Eh. <laughs> As, naipit pa yung bola. Ikaw kasi naipit tuloy yung bola. Eh, si Roy, naalala yun pagka ano. Pero, Ikaw ang mahal na mahal ng ating stats siyempre, pa na si Roy. Tipit sa ball pen. Yun. Tipit. Hindi mo siya pinakagod. Pero hindi, may rebound ako. Ha, pa, pa, assist, assist. Assist, pa, ano, pa, assist. assist. <laughs> minsan. Minsan. <laughs> minsan wala. <laughs> so it is a 10-point ball game. Powerade, dabante rito ng 10. Pero binabanggit nga ni Gary David dito kay Jessica kanina. No? Okay lang daw mabasag yung streak basta makakuha ng panalo. Mas maganda kung tuloy yung streak, tas makuha pa yung panalo as Omar Sneed scoops it up and in on the follow. Good start para sa Powerade entering this third quarter. They're, they were building on a 10-point lead coming into this quarter. And you know when you have that 10-point lead, you know if you get like a 6-0 to zero run, get it up to 16, you really force the hand of the opposing coach to call an early timeout. And uh, in both quarters so far, first quarter, Coach Luigi Maga timeout. Second quarter, Coach Luigi Maga. This time around, hindi pa natitinag si Coach Luigi as they are down by 14, the biggest deficit of the game. Toss with the leather, they go to De La Cruz. David watching TDLC. Tenorio, makapagambag na ba siya? Nagpakawala. Pasok para dito kay Teniente. Sean Anthony, one of the better defenders, but he's got to do a better job of actually fighting that screen, trying to cut the corner, not allow LA to have that open look. And dahil pumasok yung tira ni LA, na-recall itong si Brandon Cablay sa bench, waiting na sana siya to come in for Tenorio. David in trouble, almost losing it. Napunta pa kay Salvador. Here come the Alaska Aces, Tenorio on the run. Gets it over to Forte, power step. Napasabit niya si El Granada. Ikatlong personal foul para dito kay Gary David. Ano yung kwento mo kanina? Nag-swimming sila? Nag-team building? Oo, kinikwento ni De La Cruz. Nag-active center siya. 
nung uh, nag-team building sila, may pagkatapos ng workout, pagkatapos ng uh, sessions, ng group therapy, o hindi naman therapy, group session, uh, may swimming. Uh, Nag-ubaran na raw ng t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Pag-ubad ni Porte, wala na. Nag-swimming sila lahat, naka-t-shirt. Nahiya daw okay sila. Okay lang yun, okay lang yun. Ang problema, pag nag-ubad si Porte, tapos may mga teammates sila, ito lang sabi, ay! <laughs> <laughs> yun ang problema doon. <laughs> Patay. <laughs> 56-45, power rate by 11 points. Si Sneed, they discarte kontra kay Tos. Tutulong si De La Cruz. Palobong jump hook, Mintis. Tos clears it. Tenorio pushes it. Tubunta na naman kay Forte. Nakita si Baguio. Baguio zigzagging his way to the lane. Gets the basket. Plus a foul. Good response, uh, Magu, on the part of uh, Alaska. They were actually down by 14. And Coach Luigi was actually on his way to replace L.A. Tenorio, seemingly with Brandon Cablay. But then players able to fix it before the coach had to burn a timeout. All of a sudden, they're back in the thick of things. Only down by... 8 points. Natatanong mo ba yan, Jason, yung uh, ikaw nagmamando? Nakita mo, uy, yung karinyebo ko papunta sa scorer's table. Kailangan may maganda na akong gawin. Aware, ba? Aware ka ba pag ikaw nasa sa'yo? Um, generally, as a player, you, you have to see every part of it. And pati yung, ano, pati yung scorer's table, nasasama sa nasisilip mo yan. Eh, ito nakapalit ko. Tira nga ako. <laughs> Iba-iba yan. Eh. Meron tira nga ako. You know, but, but one thing that you want to do is to do something good. Be it a made basket, a rebound, or a steal. Para makapaglaro ka pa. Oh, great defense on the part of Kasho standing his ground contra kay Baguio. And look at them move that leather around. Kasho pushes it up and in. Thanks, break opportunities. Magu has uh, continued to be one of the major concerns for Alaska against Power Rage. When a Power Rage is, is running, it's so difficult to stop dahil may tira sila sa 3 points, meron pa silang tira all the way. Balik sa 10, ang kailangan bunuin dito ng mga alas. De La Cruz down low to the boss. Looking to carve space, slips and ends up trapping. Ilipin ulit natin, ayan yung kaninang napakagandang depensa ang ginawa ni J.V. Casio. Isang klarong-klarong depensa, ang hatid ng clearman. Zero dandruff and JV not just on one and kinumpleto niya with a basket on the other. Ano yan, ah? JV Casio, taga para niya ako yan. Yan! Oh. Actually, uh, mula sa San Isidro. Busay naman talaga pag taga para niya ako yan. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a surprise to many. It was actually a surprise to me. I was asking him uh, because he attended one of uh, the clinics that I have. As you see, Luigi Trillo very upset right now at, at the way the calls have gone, and he's going to get a technical. Take a look at that last play. Good steal, Cyrus. Just couldn't complete it. Ang inihingi yata ni Coach Luigi, dapat may foul doon kay Will Antonio. 30-second timeout requested here. And Coach Luigi still at it, talking to referee Aquino. Long hit with uh, Dicky Backman right there. So we have 7.59 remaining on this clock. Well, kwento lima, kwento mo, nagulat ka. Oh, nagulat sila because I was actually talking to him. Nandun siya, guest ko siya sa isa sa mga uh, clinic ko. Dahil taga, sabi ka, sana taga Paranaque si JV. He's actually born and raised doon sa bahay nila sa Paranaque sa San Isidro. And uh, uh, sabi nga niya na uh, never really had a chance na makapaglaro doon sa mga fourth court. Pero dahil... Uh, because he was busy playing for Sadeda and for La Salle, but sabi niya, gusto niya, you know, one day, pag may oras niya daw, gusto niya, yun din, magturo ng mga bata. Because the opportunity right now that is given to him, he wants also to share that to sa mga bata na magturo rin para sila rin maging future PBA players just like him. Iba yung uh, makabawi ka o to give back, eh, no? And pag tinig naman naman yung katawan ni JV, no? Mga 5'8", payat, hindi mo akalain, eh. He's, he's the prototypical guy na masasabi mo na, well, you guys that are playing in the park and then just are able to maximize their talent. Proof right there with the shot that he hit. You know, you have such and such kilos, right? It's a beautiful thing that you're doing with JV here. And that was a three-pointer. Trece na ang abante rito ng Powerade Tigers. Was at a high of 14. Pwede pwede nilang basagin yan on this trip. David unleashes. Nakaw, airball. Anthony saves it to Antonio. Hahaha. 
ganun ganun lang kinche na ang abante ng mga tigre the other thing that has that has been a problem para sa Alaska they have been unable to clear the defensive glass kaya nagkakaroon ng second third opportunity sa itong power rate kaya lumobo ng alam kalamangan ng pitse and underneath merong foul as Baguio was batting for position contra dito ni Antonio ay ito yung airball na pinukol ni Gary D nasalba pa at napaganda papunta kay Antonio and Magu that's a 12 offensive rebound para dito sa power rate you compare that to Alaska which is a team that you'd think would be a very good offensive rebounding team with Sunny Toss and Jason Forte. Remember, Powerade has 12 offensive rebounds, Alaska 3. Alright. Dito, nahihirapan pa ang Alaska sa pag-inbound pa lang ng bola. Toss working against Snead on the run. Doesn't work. Forte underneath, pang apat na offensive rebound pa lang niya. And he should be, should be one of those guys that can actually force the situation when it comes to rebounding because when you look at yung strength, yung laki, yung forte, yung bilis niya, not one guy in that uh, power rate squad should be able to match up with him. Inchi puntos na rin para dito kay Forte. Alaska gets another stop. Kablay, iikot muna nila ang bola. Labi na apat na segundo pa naman sa kanilang shot clock. As they go to Thos for the baseline, Jay. Stick back, wala pa rin para kay Tony. Ado sa pangatlong attempt nila. No, wala pa ang bola. Here, last two possessions at least for Alaska. They are able to get those rebounds. Gabby Espinas might be one of the uh, solutions to that. Very good rebounder, although undersized. Baguio, pull up jumper. No good. Espinas for the putback. On cue, Gabby Espinas able to get the rebound. Timing lang. Just over six minutes remaining sa ating ikat ng yugto. Guevara had two big baskets in that second quarter. Will have to earn his fifth and sixth points from the line. Ray Guevara coming over from Petron in that blockbuster deal with Lasseter together. With Alusani, as we remind everybody, Nasimula June 23, active brings basketball fans across the country. The 88th season of the NCAA, and for the first time, the best college sports will be aired on prime time, time every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. Dito lang yan sa active. Nanggit mo na San Beda, nanjajante ng alma mater ng iyong papa. Si Naletran, siyempre Paste, Mapua, and the rest of the teams, the NCAA, mapapanood na dito as we head into this timeout. Back with us inside the Smart Araneta Coliseum, taking a look at our nice Friday crowd. At sila ang ating mga ulalang mahal ng masa fans of the day. Mula sa masarap, malaman, mura, at aka-invenient kasi easy to open ulalam, ready to eat ulam. Para sa masa, mahal na masa, ulalam, 15 pesos lang. Nagutom ka, no? Ano ba yung 15? Pagkatapos ba yun ang 14? Oo, magkasunod lang. 14, 15. Bago mag-chicks din. Bago mag-chicks din. Less than chicks minutes. Natitira sa ating third quarter. Forte, looking for Espinas. Medyo traffic yung pasa na yun, ha? Pero si Espinas na muwersa. But Forte jump for that. They lose the leather. Ball will go. Yes, Malita, yes, yun, yes. that's a good, the, the, the right call is possession. Para sa Alaska. Right now, though, Magu, power aid becoming difficult for them to be able to clear their their rebounds uh, ever since na wala ang kanilang import. And also, a lot of fouls happening for them, which actually brings them to the penalty at the 540. Which gives us an opportunity na balikan si Jessica with this report. Magu, hindi pa payag si Coach Bo pero saw that the Power Aid Tigers get complacent with their lead. Gusto niya makita silang getting the rebound. At sabi niya, kahit hindi mo makuha, basta paglabanan ninyo. Magu? Yun na importante. Makita mo lang yung effort, ano? But, in the, but right now, rebound's been a problem ever since ang binanggit natin yung kalamangan kanina sa rebounds which was at 12 to 3. Since then, Alaska has actually had five offensive rebounds in a span of, of what? About two and a half minutes. So, nagigising na rin dito ang mga alas looking to impose their will. They are still down by 12 points. Make that 11 as Espinas completes it. He's got eight in the game. 
and Alaska just sticking around. Not really been a crisp game for them, but they're still in it and they uh, have kept it in that 10 point range now pushed up to 13. Adoseni delivers off the glass, six points for us. Parakayal from top of the key. Coming up on five minutes remaining, starting third quarter. Espinas working against Alisane. loses that leather. <laughs> Martinez nagbalik para dito kay JV Casio. At ang isa namang beneficiary ng uh, pagkawala ni Celino Cruz uh, via that trade uh, for etong si Salvador. Si James Martinez nagkakaroon siya ng minuto ngayon. Well, and, and at that uh, last conference and the conference before that, which actually yung, yung playing time niya, na, paunti-unti pa lang, lang. Pero ngayon, he really has to perform for this team because the minutes will definitely go his way. Lalong-lalo na, hindi lang yun ha. Pati yung pagkawala ni Marshall because Marshall was actually playing combo two sometimes. Minsan siya nagbababa ng bola. Nakao play, Omar Sneed now with 11 points. Nice pass coming from Guevara. Produkto rin yan ng letrang. Si Ray Guevara. Less than five minutes remaining in the third. Foss on the move. Naku, niluwa ng ring. Everything but the shot that time around. Martinez and Didi Discarte calling out play number three. Ano kaya yun? Pupunta sila kay Sneed. David Paracael favoring his right. David loses it. Pero mananatili ang possession sa power eight. Ban Landingham, ibinalik na ni Coach Bo. Papalitan muna si Gary D with 4.22 remaining in the third. Catch and shoot, Guevara. Aba, suki na, nakaka-8 points na siya. And he's played well in this game. Actually came in middle of the second and since then has had a positive effect for his team. Tatlong ganong 17-18 po jumper at dalawang free throw. Ang kanyang naiambag dito as Sunny Thos misses. Ito na biggest lead of the game. Namagana sa 17. Binawasan naman ng dalawa yan, Ibarra Kael. Guevara once again. They look to set this one up. Sneed attacking, in trouble, kicks it over. Ayun na naman, Ray Guevara, now with 10 points. And this is what they were hoping for when they got that trade. That si Ray Guevara makakatulog, si Raba Al Husseini makakatulog. It's like getting two quality players for one. And uh, so far today, Ray Guevara having one of his better games. Bola, mananatili pa rin dito sa Power 8. As LA Tenorio will try and give it another go para kay Coach Luigi Trillo. Palitan muna niya itong si RJ Azul. Martinez contra Tenorio. Right in front of that Power 8 bench. They go to the post. Sneed facing up against Thos. Omar Sneed. Steps back, fades away. <laughs> That's a surprise. Definitely a surprise. I didn't expect that he had that in his arsenal. 75-56. DC Nueve na. Ang abante ng power aid. Alaska in a world of trouble. Tatlong minuto na dito na sa ating third quarter. Bicycle shot ni LA. Hindi uubra. And Alusaini outboxes Toss for that rebound. It's going to be a personal foul on the boss. Able to stay inside of Sunny Toss. That's why matatawagan ng foul ito si Sunny Toss. Time out muna. Para dito. With less than three minutes remaining in this third quarter, silipin na natin ang ating PLT detail pad face of the day. And what a refreshing sight. Shapusi Jana T. She is our PLD Detail Pad face of the day. Hati sa inyo ng PLD Detail Pad. The only landline that comes with a tablet. Subscribe now and discover wonders at home. Ikaw ang daya mo. Ako nagbabasa ako. Ikaw nakapokus ka lang sa ating monitor. Sino magbabantay sa kanya? Ayun. Di ako. Di ba? Next time, ikaw magbasa. Ako naman magbabantay. Hindi. Walang problema. <laughs> Yun pala gusto mo eh. Paalam ka sa misis mo. Ayan. <laughs> Less than three minutes that he does in the third quarter. Big block on the part of Forte. Custodio looking to do what he does best. Open court situation, pero ginambala siya sa pagkakataong yun. Ito ni Ray Guevara. 
Para na pito ng foul. Remember, itong Alaska Magu got into the penalty, 540 mark. But we never really saw a lot of free throws come their way. Hasn't really attacked and as much given the situation in which penalty na yung kalaban nila. Another technical on Alaska. Kanina si Coach Luigi this time around. Coach Monchba or si Coach Lopex? One of the assistants of Alaska has been teed up. Ako, hindi nga lang pinasok ni Martinez in technical free throw. Coach Topex, assistant coach Topex Robinson, and happy to one attack. Custodio goes two for two to bring the Aces to within 17 points. Napakalaking bundok pa rin ang kailangan nilang panagin dito. Two and a half remaining in the third. Martinez, naiwan si Tenorio. And then to si Teniente, caught reaching in from behind. He's trying to really put pressure on the basketball, hoping to cause turnovers para magkaroon ng momentum yung kanyang team. But unable to actually ending up uh, with a foul, you're saying? Uh, both teams are in the penalty, kaya mahaba itong later stretch ng ating third quarter. Brain thrust of the Alaska Aces looking to dig even deeper. Magaganyan 225 remaining, meron ka ba mga target na ibabalang sa 12, ibabalang sa Gs, bago mag 4th quarter? You always hope that you can bring it back to at least 10 or... But uh, nowadays, with the advent of quick offense, even if it's at 14, even at 16, you can just have a 6 to nothing run to start the 4th and you're back in the game. Toss is finally in double figures para sa Alaska. Three-pointer on the way, Van Landingham, no go. Alusani has it chopped away. Ganda ng taga, di ba ang custodio? Forte on a four on three. De La Cruz, huli pa ni Van Landingham. Good defense, Josh Van Landingham. That was Alaska all the way, had the numbers, but he didn't give up. Yun ang inihiling ni Tony De La Cruz kay God, eh, no? From uh, two, three weeks ago. Give him hops. <laughs> Gusto lang ni Tony, tumaas ang kanyang talon at makadang. Pero ito, specialty ni Tony yan. Di nga lang tumama this time around. Martinez surveys. A minute and a half remaining. They go to Van Landingham. A specialty of the house. Bang! At ganun-ganun lang. Talawang po na ang abante ng mga tigre. Still pa ni Sneed. Martinez in a foot race against two big men. Martinez, kinamit pa yung katawan for the layup. What a move for James Martinez. Yeah, he's a guy, like you said, he will have to play a major role for this Power Raid squad. But right here, good defense leading to this fast break opportunity para kay James Martinez. Tignan mo paano niya pinprotection ng yung bola and that forces Alaska into another timeout. At bago tayo bumalik sa action, silipin na naman natin ang isang depensang sapal hatid sa inyo ng sapal elastic sealant. And this will feature Josh Van Landingham. Huli si De La Cruz sa pagkakataong yun. This sapal shot lock is brought to you by sapal elastic sealant and waterproofer. Ang bagong hari ng tapal. So the Power Tigers getting it done on both ends of the floor. Sila na lang ang nag-iisang team na wala pang panalo dito sa Governor's Cup. But right now they are up by 20. Now they are up by 22 big points. L8 Tenorio, that will only be his fourth point of this game. That's where he has to start. L8 Tenorio, we've seen him aggressive on the defensive end this time around. Also trying to be a, a, aggressive on the offensive end. Anthony, over to Raba. Jab step fake, hindi ko magat si Tos. Ginawa na lang siyang asintahan. And, and that's his sweet spot, right about at that foul line extended. Ang ganda ng tikada nito si Raba Alusin. 84-62. Alaska could not make any headway late in the third. De La Cruz from the baseline. Lista mo na! Better offense right now, at least in the last two possessions para dito sa Alaska getting their point. But right now, they've got to make stops because Powerade, 84 points, they're on, 
on their way to 100 if they continue with that trend. Tandaan natin, yung 84 lang ang pinamigay ng Alaska nung sila ay manalo kontra sa Barako. Pero ito, nasa third quarter pa lamang tayo. Gapara! <laughs> flushes it through, burning the Red Sea! What a move! We're gonna have to see that over and over again, Jason. <laughs> Pareho tayong nakangangalang dito, ah. Wow! 1.5 seconds remaining in the third. Ray Guevara rattling. Sorry, wala ka pa rin masabi, Jay. And it, it, nakita mo naman, when he was turning to his right, bumukuha na siya ng buwelo. I just didn't know if he was gonna make it uh, dahil sa layo ng buwelo niya. And landing nga, may pagkakataon pa to put an even bigger exclamation point on this quarter. Pero hindi na, okay na yun. Yung tak-tak ni Ray Guevara, Jay. And right here, Ray Guevara going to his right. Brad, pang profile pick ka. <laughs> Oo, oh, sinama pa si Porte. Grabe naman. Pang profile pick niya. Saktong-sakto. Yung galaw na yun. 86-64, Ray Guevara puts the exclamation point on this third quarter storm. It is Powerade by Big. Active. Nandiyan dyan na. Para yung team at ang buong pwersa ng active. Susugod na dyan. Bukas... As we open the sport and final quarter, I'm still not over that Ray Guevara dunk, Jason. <laughs> you know, he's, he's having, I think right now we can say that he's having his best game in his PBA career. 12 points, effectivity, but at the same time, highlight. Right? We talk about the scoring. Everyone looks at, well, you had your best game because you scored this much. But I think defensively, he has been aggressive and has been able to, uh, to, uh, to be able to help his team I just want another dunk, dude. Ang career high na ni Guevara is 14 points, so he's only two away from it. Kita mo naman, pati sila Denok Miranda. Grabe na ang tinitweet dito. Ibang klase daw si Fafa Ray. <laughs> Grabe naman yun. 86-64. Half a minute having gone by in this final quarter. Namuntikan naman pa ni Van Landing Ham yun. Dating slam dunk champion si Ray Guevara in the amateur ranks, you know? Mukhang next year, papakita siya para may kalaban naman daw ulit si Japet. I actually competed last year in the uh, slam dunk. As RJ Azul delivers those two points, mabasa 20 ang inahabol dito. Can't be, Magu can't be complacent if you're power rate, but if you're Alaska, just chip away, chip away. Pa two points, two points, before you know it, you can be back to the, in this game in about three minutes if you're able to make stops and make baskets. Oh, nice pass. Alusaini locating Anthony. Right now, Powerade just has a better bounce, better energy compared to that of Alaska. Azul for three. Doesn't work. Samige Eman cleans it up. Cleans it up. Iba na matangkat. Nakita natin doon. Uh, itong uh, power raid trying to box out Sam Eman but that point guard to big man can't be, can't be done Guevara once again this time Baguio watching him Alusaini di discarte contra kay Eman natapikan ni Eman harap harapan Azul will try and push it up they go to De La Cruz Baguio puts it on the floor walang makita ang butas to sa depensa lalabas kay Tony Underneath, Eman sinausaw pa. Kanya rin yung mintis, Eman butata. Pero pati yung braso kasama. Paalala ulit natin na coming this July, the greatest show on earth, the London 2012 Olympic Games ay mapapanood na dito lang yan sa Active. Stay tuned to Active for more announcements. Ito Jay, naibaba na sa 18. Yung kailangan habulin dito ng Alaska Aces and they apply pressure in the backcourt. Yeah, yung sinasabi natin, slowly, right there, Powerade actually giving an opportunity. This is a giveaway because the, the pressure that... Uh, Alaska is actually just made in the mind of power rate because there was not actual ball pressure. It's just that neither of the guards of power rate wanted to bring down the basketball.
De La Cruz looking for Baguio. Cyrus has 15 to work with. Di may pasa kay Forte, kay Tony na lang daw. 18-footer doesn't work para kay De La Cruz. Alusaini gets it over to Guevara. Gary D sa kabila. Looking for John Dunn. Hand off pabalik kay Gary. Pull up jumper. David delivers. Another one of his good games ito si Gary David. And hasn't had to take that many shots today. Forte. Nataga. Kay Casio ba o kay Salvador ang Paul? Mukhang kay John Dunn. Ipinito yun. But in the meantime, para sa power rate, because they're able to maintain their data, it's just a simple handoff right here. Even with a man in there with a hand in his face, no brand of problem para kay Gary David. And all this happening, magu para dito sa power rate. We're able to maintain this lead. And what happens is, si Omar's need na hindi pa natin alam ang effectivity ng kanyang condition, kung okay na siya, o pang 40 minutes ba siya, nakakapahinga ngayon. Kaya even if Alasa makes a run, ito si Omar's need pagpasok, he becomes a bit fresher than what he could be kung di kitang laban. Guevara against Baguio. Gary David tracking. Punta sila kay Alusaini, 10 to work with for power aid. Alusaini putting on the moves on Eman. Off balance attempt, no good. Eman for the board. Azul will forte. Running down the middle. Na nakawang pa ni Guevara, pero napunta kay Azul. So De La Cruz, Cruz from the baseline. Takumintis. It's a crucial possession for Alasa. You feel if they make one here, itong power aid just might be forced to call a timeout. Exactly what's going to happen here because it, the lead has been cut to 60. That's a bit of a caution mark. Alaska, and there's still a lot of time, 8 and 37 to go. The Alaska Ace is starting to chip away at the 22 de point deficit na hinarap nila kanika ni Nalama, kaya na puwersa si Coach Bo into a timeout as Gary David. Steps on the sideline, masakit no para sa power rate. They turn it over off their own timeout. Yeah, they turn it over and they turn it over, th turn it over in a short time, it's a short uh, time. At mukhang ano pa to? Uh, might be delay of game. So delay of game, the Gary David, eh pangalawa na yan. Na technical dito, um, power aid. Ako, mintis din. Ito si Baguio sa technical. Kanina, nagmintis si James Martinez. O Manos sa mintisan sa technical free throw. Azul ang didiskarte. Forte against Sneed. Ito yung binabanggit mo. Fresh na fresh pang Sneed. Huli niya si Forte sa pagkakataong yun. And here comes... Oh, 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 oh. Hindi na pumayag si Baguio. Not this time, sabi ni Cyrus Baguio. Sinama mo si Porte, pati si Baguio. Gusto mong isama sa profile pick mo. Hazul makes him pay dun sa kabilang dulo. And Alaska is back. This is what we were saying para sa Alaska. You chip away slowly, make some stops, make some shots. And then all of a sudden, when you're making this run, momentum goes squarely on your favor. David contra De La Cruz. Binigyan ng pick ni Sneed. David, his pass warded. Nasa lo niya. Gary D, no good. Baguio with the rebound and he will push hard sa kabilang dulo. Hazul. Back to Baguio. They will wait for their teammates. Forte di discarde. Forte underneath. Huli na depensa. And Sneed will clear it para dito sa mga tigre. Casio to Jontan. Pang round throw. Pinali up yun. That hurt. That play right there for Jason Forte where he was trying to go up. Hoping for a foul. Did not get it. And eventually just numbers for power eight. Big swing there. Alik sa pinse ang abante rito ng mga alas. Forte. Sobra naman this time around. Eman puts it up and out. Pero merong foul. Eman has done a good job. Especially mula dun sa offensive rebounding side para dito kay Sam Eman. Already picking up maybe his third of this game. Yes, and most of that nanggaling dito sa second half. As we take a look at that last block coming from Cyrus Baguio, Para gusto na naman sanang isama siya. This Sapal Shot Log is brought to you by Sapal Elastic Sealant and Waterproofer. Ang bagong hari ng tapal. Yeah, para, kung, if, if you're at home watching, okay. Kaya miski na nito ano, no, dito kasi nakikita lang yung mga replay. Sulit na sulit dahil you see guys jumping out and flying up dito sa ating liga. 
13 ang abante ng Powerade. Salvador has five to work with. Forte on him. John Dunn making his move. Two to shoot. Fading away. John Dunn, no go. Right now, Magu Powerade making, dif making things difficult for them. Why? The reason they got a good lead, they ran a simple pick and roll. Be it JV, be it, uh, be it JV, be it uh, Gary with Omar Steve. They have gone away from that here in the fourth quarter. Or they no go on the three. Parang uh, binabagalan ng power rate sobra ngayon yung kanilang atake. Eh. Here it is, simple pick and roll and let Omar go to the open spot because he gets so much attention. You actually can go to the other side to John Dan Salvador. Forte sa kabilang dulo, babawi. Sobra pa rin. Uy, kumapit. Nagawa ng paraan ni Jason Forte. He's got 21. Now let's see if Powerade goes to the same play. Little pick and roll. Move it to. They look for Gary. Binigyan ng pick na ito ni Sneed. It's a, good, it's a good pick and roll, but credit. Ito si Sam Eman for stepping out. Guevara gets the basket. Mika Samabang foul. And that now ties his career high of 14. He can break it with his bonus free throw. Last time around, Ray Guevara nasupal pal, but that's not going to deter him going straight to the basket. That's my strength. If you can stop me, go ahead. But that is not going to be every day na masusupal pal niyo ako. Guevara's bonus, that's a brand new career high para dito. Kere, 15 big points. At yung effectivity na binabanggit mo, no? Yeah, he's on the floor not because he's just because he's putting points, but he's also effective on the defensive side of the floor. David with a tap. Baguio recovers, pero merong foul. Looks like it'll be against El Granada. That'll be foul number four. Ray's going to get a good hand up from the Powerade fans as well as the bench. Dahil uh, simula nung pumasok siya, very positive ang influence niya sa ating laro. Baguio attacking Van Landingham, called off that bench. Baguio na muersa, Sneed for the board. Pinukul kagad, Gary D will throw it down dun sa kabilang dulo. And quickly, Powerade. There was a threat mula sa Alaska, pero dikit-dikit na puntos, they pushed it back, they pushed the lead back to 18. Azul, binawasan ng tatlo. With under five minutes remaining in this game. Sneed, on the move, lifts it up and out. Forte na wala pa, napunta kay Ben Landing ang bola. Barrett will now try and waste away the time. Sneed sa poste. No problema. Baguio takes it away. De La Cruz looking to get it back to Baguio. Preemptive foul by Cash. But not a good foul. JV unaware of the situation. They're actually in the penalty. Good intention, but it was not fully aware of the situation. De La Cruz completes the first free throw. Seven points para dito kay Tony. Alaska still knocking at the door because after this free throw, they're going to be down by 13. Ami pa yan. Mahaba pang oras yan if you're an Alaska fan. Van Landingham against Baguio. They look for Gary David. Well covered by De La Cruz. Ngayon, nakawala si Gary. Nagpakawala ng tres. Gary David makes him pay. You, you can't imagine how difficult that is, running through screens and actually receiving the ball on his back heel and to be able to set your feet to be able to put up a three-point shot. That takes hours and hours of practice na ginagawa ni Gary David. 28 puntos na para kay Gary D. Cyrus Baguio naman laid in his 16th point. And they already with a double double in this game 13 points, 10 assists. Gary D, pull up jumper, no good. Baggio over to Azul on the run. Stopping. Kalako, pop up na itong si Azul. Forte spinning into two defenders. Nilwa na ring. Forte cleans up his own pass. Jason, dosin na lang. Down to 12. Ito nga, itong uh, Alaska, kailangan nila dito. They need to make stops. That's what they need to do. Kasho on the move. 
12 seconds para dito sa Power 8, Van Landingham. Inabot papunta kay Gary. Ano ba namang klase ng tira yun? Para-para ka na lang, 30 puntos na para kay El Granada. Some things cannot be explained. One of them is actually this Gary the bit shot right here. Dahil wala nang pupuntahan eh. Nahanapan pa rin ang paraan. Sinaraduhan na ng bit ko, ng gate. Another 30-point explosion by Gary David. Wala nang rebounder. Ganong kakumpiyansa ang mga Tigre kay Gary D. He's got 31 big points. At labing lima na naman ang abante ng mga Tigre. Alaska looking to make their last stand here with Tenorio on that bench. Tenorio has been on that bench for quite a while, actually. Majority of this fourth quarter, we did not see CLA, one of his uh, lesser effective games of the conference. And to see Kablay at si Azul and Dumi Discarte para sa kanila, as we remind everybody, na ang pinaka-controversial na bakbakan sa kasaysayan ng bansa, hatid sa atin ng active Pinoy knockout, John Real Casimiro contra Luis Lazarte. At ang mga Argentinian sa June 16, alas 9 ng gabi, syempre dito lang sa Active. Two and a half remaining. Is it safe to say now that Powerade will be, will finally barge into the win column here, Jason? 16 points. Yeah, well, let's wait a little, Maguman. Yeah, Ito, this is also. Pwede na. Yeah, looks closer, it looks clearer and clearer. And for Powerade, so many players deserving of uh, if they are able to hold, hold on of, of that best player of the game honors. They, they came out here as a team to, to arrest this slide of theirs. And Jason, Gary David finding uh, Jamie Gasho on the run. With this impending win by the Powerade Tigers, kita mo naman sa muka at sa mata neto ni Gary David. They will be catching Alaska at 1 and 2. A lot of teams are actually going to be 1 and, one and 2. Uh, or, or at that at that area of about one win, no? and uh, it's gonna be tight. The only team that talagang nakakuha ng maganda karangkada is ito Raider Shy. One eleven ninety three. Natay na lang natin ang final score as the uh, coach boy is looking to empty his bench at the next dead ball situation. Waiting na dona. Yung mga ilang ding nag-contribute sa larong ito, Anthony, James Martinez, and Ray Guevara, Alusaini, thwarted. Maracael stretches for the layup. Pero a little too late para dito sa Alaska. May gitsang minuto na titira bago tayo. Pumalik muna doon sa Active Center to get us ready for the second game. Alusaini! Inabot pa ng foul. Baba Alusaini with a dozen points. Look at that Powerade bench. Powerade bench. One rebound shy of a triple double. Let us see Omar. Smith. And that, if you're Powerade, you're a team that enjoys to score. You have locals that enjoy to score you want an import that is going to be able to facilitate if you have an import that's going to give out 11 assists like heaven sent yan para sa, uh -huh. sa kapunan mo na hindi point guard ng laro ah uh -huh. yung pambigat doon eh, big man yung dating nito ni Omar Sneed who apparently is a balik import na pero not officially dahil hindi siya na line up nung nagpunta siya dito ng 2010. Actually, this Alaska team is a team that he's seen a lot as ito, nakasupal pal mo si Dre Guevara because in the semi-final action, what is it, three years ago? Three years ago uh, against uh, Token Tex against Alaska, Diamond Simpson against an import ng Token Tex was uh, sa Air 21. Dati sa Air 21. Oh, oh, Magic Johnson, hindi mo pa rin alam. Daniels, Sean Daniels. Tutulungan na dapat kita eh. Hinahanap mo rin, maigot ka rin eh. Si Sean Daniels, there was a period in which uh, they were checking kung papalitan nila itong si uh, Sean Daniels. And he was actually that guy. He was watching games. Tinitingnan niya kung pwede siyang uh, makapaglaro. But in the end, Talking Tech stuck, uh, was able to stick with uh, Sean Daniels and 
right now finally able to see the court sa PBA wearing his sneakers dati pa <laughs> dun lang sa ringside nakapanjimik <laughs> 114.95 ang nasa ating talaan. Powerade will barge into the wind column in a big way. Dito sa ating Governor's Cup. At yun nga, binabanggit mo kanina, no? On any given game day, any given game, first or second game, napakahirap malaman kung sino ang yamado, sino ang tihado dito sa ating PBA. And that's what uh, this league is proud of. The parity in this league that you have, you have teams that are gonna come up we win less and all of a sudden able to blow uh, blow away a team by uh, close to 20 points and uh, in the same token you have teams that uh, probably streaking bilang titigil as uy pinahihirapan ni Alex Crisano si Derek eh <laughs> tatago sa mga shot eh parang hindi injured ah <laughs> sabi niya sa ating kanina malapit na malapit na raw siyang bumalik very very soon before uh, the end of in the next couple of weeks ready na daw siya as Powerade will chalk up their first win of the Governor's Cup, 114.97, napakalaking panalo but para dito sa mga tigre. Too. Hindi pa pala tapos. There's gonna be a foul. Hindi pa tapos. Ang ating <laughs> boxing. Kaya ulitin mo yan, ha? Dahil hindi pa tapos. Dahil tapos na, tapos na. Yun. They're gonna give that up. <laughs> After the buzzer na raw. <laughs> but there's a foul! But there's a foul! Hindi pala, there's no foul. 114.97 ang nasa ating talaan. Big win for Power Aid. Grabe, tulong-tulong sila yung import all around si Gary David.